Well, hello everyone. It's Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island in Bluffton, South Carolina. Today is October 4th, 2014, and we're in Bluffton in Hampton Hall, the gated golf course community that is a custom home community. We're here to see today this beautiful home by David Weekly Homes. Uh, it's located at 23 Wicklow Drive. It's a brand new home. Uh, listed for $499,990. It has 2,400 square feet, three bedrooms, three bathrooms, a big oversized two-car garage, large covered back porch. It has wood floors. It has stainless steel appliances, granite countertops, high quality throughout this house. We're going to walk through it, see if it could possibly be for you. I'm glad you're along. And my name is Richard Kadish. I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent with 39 years of Hilton Head Island and Bluffton real estate experience. Before we go in and take a look, let's just walk, uh, uh, walk the camera around the neighborhood here. You can see that Hampton Hall has sidewalks. It's a beautiful community. You may notice the mature trees. Many uh, developments, especially the new production home developments, cut down the trees and then they build the houses. Well, that's one of the big differences between Hampton Hall and the others. This is a, a custom home community where you have to have permission to cut down the trees through your architectural review board. We're here uh, on Wicklow Drive, number 23 Wicklow Drive. Absolutely beautiful community. Now, David Weekly Homes is a custom home builder, but um, he has also some of these ready to go because he knows that not everyone can wait six, seven, eight, nine months to have a house built for them. So they have a few ready built homes here in Hampton Hall. They have some over in uh, Hampton Lake as well, I understand. And uh, these are ready to go. And these are the types of homes that people are looking for. Well, let's see what you think. Uh, it sits on a beautiful lot, as I said, with all this mature trees. Again, my name is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D-E-S-C-H. My company, Go Gated Realty. I'm the Gated Communities Specialist, ladies and gentlemen, and both Gated Communities Specialist and Go Gated Realty are federally registered trademarks. And I think I said that this home is built by and listed by David Weekly Homes. Well, we're gonna take a look here. We've got a large concrete driveway out here with good parking space where my car is located. Big oversized two-car garage. We're gonna go in there. Your front door is recessed out of the weather. This is hard coat stucco. And you have a lovely archway there. Couple of steps leading up to your ground floor, just a few steps into your ground floor. Everything's on one level and on concrete. So there's no crawl space to be concerned about here. We have a mahogany front door with a cut glass oval <clears throat> with some leaded glass, uh, leaded uh, uh, pattern there. Very attractive. Well, let's go in and take a, a look. I think you're gonna like this house. I have a lot of buyers who call me <clears throat> looking for houses with this floor plan with the features that this one offers. And it starts with the fact that so many of my buyers are looking for wood floors. Well, you can see that this house has wood floors. It has what's called the uh, hand-hewn look. I'm sure it's done by a machine, but it's very popular. It gives the uh, feeling of being hand-worked, possibly reclaimed. Very attractive, very popular these days. And of course, this <clears throat> entry foyer hallway goes back into your living room underneath this arch. So we see the uh, arch that we saw out there in the entrance way. We have another soft arch here coming back. And here is our main living space. Now people are looking for open floor spaces these days. <clears throat> and this one has it. You notice the, the uh, kitchen is completely open here to the right with the one level breakfast bar. Also a new popular, very popular feature. People seem to like to have their kitchen island on one level rather than two. Our dining room is just beyond with the wainscoting around there. No need for an extra breakfast area because your dining room is open and adequate for all your dining needs. Your living room is here with the 
uh, gas fireplace, or it's actually propane. And I may have mentioned you have a gas range over here in the kitchen as well. We'll take a closer look at each of these. At the back, a telescopic sliding door, which opens up to a wooded area for lots of privacy. It's what my buyers are looking for again and again. They want a private setting. Well, this house has it. Let's take a closer look at each of these things. Well, first off, looking back towards our foyer entrance, and we walked right by, but we'll see it now, the office here on the right. Very common in a Hilton Head home to have your office e either immediately left or right of your front door. That's what you have here with these double doors with the glass panels, sometimes called French doors, opening to this office. And two big over-under windows at the front there. All the windows in this house are vinyl clad. They have interior flat mullions. Gives it a bit of a traditional touch and of course easy care over time. You have high flat ceilings throughout this house. And again, this house is brand new, brand new home. Crown molding, lots of crown molding in this house. People like that, it gives it a great finished look. Here's our double doors. And you have the wood floor coming right into your office. And high baseboard. Now in a lot of homes, these are optional features. Obviously, they're ready to go in this house for you. And the price on this house, again, is $499.9. $499.990 to be exact. Well, I have a lot of people looking at luxury homes under 500,000, and I think this one should certainly be on their list while it lasts. If it doesn't last, well, you have an alternative. If you like this home, we can build one for you. And you can choose your own floor covering, your own granite or countertops, your own light fixtures. This one's ready to go for the person who is ready to go and needs to go right now. Let's take a look at this kitchen. It's really a beauty. It starts with all granite countertops. Most people like granite, why not? It's beautiful. It's millions of years old. It's classy, I love granite. And you have these uh, antique white cabinets with a little bit of trim to them. Beautiful hardware, people like that dark hardware. We're gonna see that again in the lever handles. You have a backsplash with some tile work there. It all blends together. They've done a beautiful job decorating this home, Max, matching colors and materials. And in the kitchen, you have a variety of cabinets, including some glass panel cabinets here, as well as the other panels. Well, you have GE appliances. Here's your built-in microwave and your oven. Stainless steel is so popular these days. That's what you have in this house, ladies and gentlemen. There's your lever handles that are so stylish and popular. And this then would be our pantry. And it's uh, well located right here in the, in the uh, kitchen, right in the corner. Lots of wire shelving. I think that pantry would be adequate for most people. I think it would be for me. And here's your kitchen range, your gas range with four burners. And again, to be technical about it, it's propane. This is not a gas community, it's uh, propane. We'll see the tank outside. And then over here in the middle of our room is the island. Stainless steel dishwasher looking very good. Everything here is brand new. So all your appliances are gonna be under warranty. You have your double stainless bin, your big swan neck kitchen faucet with the uh, rinse tool that comes off of the end here. That's what you need. And this is all open and informal. This is the way people are living today. This is what the buyers want. They want an open, informal floor plan. And then over here to the back right is our dining area. You have wainscoting, you have lots of windows, high windows on the side for light and privacy. You have a trio of windows across the back, opening up to the woods. You have high flat ceilings with crown molding. The quality is high. 
And here's the way you are from the dining area to the rest of the room. Everything is open, informal. It's the way we live today. It's what people are looking for. Well, just a sneak preview out the back here and we'll see the bedrooms. You have this telescopic door. Why do I call it that? Well, because each of these panels slides open to the next panel. I've already opened one. Now we push two of them on over to the next one. You can then open this door in this room up as much as you like to have it uh, be completely open if you want or, or not. It's up to you and then of course if you want to screen this back porch, you have a very large covered back porch here with ceiling fans. You can leave it as it is, or you can screen part of it or all of it. People generally like screen porches, so I do see uh, a buyer doing some of that, but it's not required. And then of course, when you combine that with this sliding door here, that uh, really gives you, uh, allows you to bring the outside right into your house. Over on this side, this is a green belt, all this wooded area, so you have a lot of privacy between yourself and your neighbor over here. And my buyers are always saying, eh, they don't really care, frankly, if it's woods, golf, uh, water, they want privacy. That's the number one thing. That's the common denominator. Big open space. Notice the uh, recessed ceiling, sometimes called a tray ceiling in the living room there. Crown molding up inside. Ceiling fans throughout. It's a good looking house. Good looking floor. All right, well, let's just take a quick look here at our, uh, our uh, fireplace. It is a gas fireplace with a uh, glass front. Gas logs there, that's all included in this price, $499,990. A tile surround, you have a mantle, attractive woodworking. Let's go see the master bedroom. It's right here. Once again, we have a soft arch and a little privacy jog taking us to the master bedroom. A few steps later, we come right on in and here's what we have. We have a, uh, a room with a frise carpet three over under windows across the back. We have three high windows on the side. Our master bathroom is at an angle. Very bright room, even in the late afternoon, it's about 5.30 here on uh, October 4th. Let's go see this master bathroom. Uh, Really a good looking room here. You have uh, his and her vanities on the back there and this beautiful tiled floor which is either real marble or it's tile that looks like marble. Either way, it's beautiful. Very clean, classy. Here's our water closet. In Hilton Head you have your toilet in a closet called the water closet. And this one has a high window to bring some light in there. You even have crown molding in your water closet, ladies and gentlemen. Now, how good is that? Well, that's pretty good. That's a lot of attention to detail and that's quality throughout the home. Well, here's your uh, linen closet. It's deep with wire shelving. Lots of room there. You like to see closets in a house, so you have all the storage you need. Let's take a look at this uh, walk-in shower. No need for a shower curtain here because you have a curb to keep your water in and you just step in. And right around the corner is your shower and your step or bench there at the end. You have a wand, you have a shower head, you've got a variety of, of uh, plumbing fixtures here. And this tile goes right on up to the ceiling with a high horizontal window to let light into your shower. This is quite a beautiful shower. And your crown molding again goes right around right around the ceiling. So it's really quite, uh, quite well done. Now here's your uh, vanity, uh, your vanity cabinets and a granite top with undermounted uh, china or porcelain sinks or basins. 
the stylish hardware there. We have the hanging wall mirrors looking very good. So we have a double vanity here. And then I think you'll like this. This is the walk-in closet. You might call it the wardrobe room. It's so large. It's one of the biggest I've seen. This is a big walk-in closet, ladies and gentlemen. And you can even make it better by adding more closet saving features, but gee whiz, uh, this is a big room. This is as big as a bedroom in many houses. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that this would be plenty big enough for most people. Very interesting, good design on this. This is the walk-in closet. Your access to your attic is right up here. It's very common to put those in a closet like this. It's a pull-down stairway. It's a question that a lot of people have. How do you get to the attic? All right, now this is uh, part of the smart design here. Again, we're leaving the master bedroom, bathroom area now, headed over to the laundry room, and it connects over to the other bedrooms in the house. Now, the washer and dryer is not included, and you do have a cabinet of, uh, a bank of cabinets, rather, over where your full-size washer and dryer will be, and this is your laundry room, and how it, it connects very interestingly from the master bedroom closet has a tile floor, a beautiful tile, and it connects right on through then to the front bedrooms, which are your second and third bedrooms, and we'll get oriented here in just a minute. I promise I won't lose you. So we turn right, and now we're on the left middle part of the house. This is your second bedroom, or your third, depending on how you're counting, and you have a, a duet of windows there on the side of the house. High flat ceiling with a light fixture, which you can trade out for a fan if you like. I think most of you, if you watch my videos, you know I really advocate 52 inch ceiling fans for your uh, energy efficiency as well as your comfort. They're not expensive and they really uh, are the way to go. Easy uh, to exchange that out if you want. So you have here on the right, on the second bedroom, a walk-in closet with the basic wire shelving. And this is a pile carpet of some sort. Uh, tile here in our bathroom. It is a private bathroom, so this makes this a uh, really a second master bedroom, I guess you could say, because it has the private bath. Vanity with the saddle colored cabinets and the uh, granite top with the undermounted sink. Very, very attractive. And over here, our shower has the tile surround. You know, a lot of homes, when you get to the second or third bathroom, they go with the fiberglass to save money, the fiberglass tile, uh, shower and tub, but not here. You've got uh, the tile and uh, the granite right on through. Here's our wall mirror, hanging wall mirror with the wall light. Panel doors, lever handles, Good quality, it's what people are looking for. These are all options on many houses that you would have to decide, gee, do you wanna pay for that? I don't know, well, here it's all included. Now here's our third bathroom. Here, this would also be a guest bath because it comes from this front hallway. Good quality again, tile floors, colored grout. Notice the detail, attention to detail. You have colored grout there and a stylish, I think they like to call this a, what do they call it? It's like a coffee colored uh, espresso cabinet, I believe, something like that, I don't know. But it looks good, I like the way it looks. What's in a name, ladies and gentlemen? It looks good. Granite top, tile surround over here to our tub and shower. I think you're getting the picture of a high quality home. I certainly hope you are, I like it. I uh, used to be a home builder myself here in, in the Hilton Head area many years ago. And uh, I like David Weekly uh, homes. Uh, the designs are excellent. The quality is always there. They always have a lot of attention to detail. Um, they just build a good home. And uh, that extends to the energy efficiency, things that you can't see. You know, there's nothing like a new home. And the new home is going to have the latest and greatest 
energy features. Uh, they go into detail explaining things about that uh, uh, in relating to energy ratings, which are uh, surpass what is expected. When we talk, uh, we can go into more detail on those sorts of things. And of course, having a new home means that everything, all your appliances, your uh, the heating and air, your water heater, all those things are brand new. Heating and air generally lasts in this climate about 14 years, by the way. Now this is a very uh, attractive transition area. Notice the woodworking over here with the little wall hooks and the shelves. So you come in from your garage, that's the garage door there. You can hang up your uh, coat, have it here ready to go out. And here's our garage, and I should say big oversized garage. Automatic door opener there. This is a big, big garage, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you have about 15 feet of space between the wall, uh, the house, and the garage door out there. I, I work with a lot of buyers who specifically shop you know, garages. They need space in their garage for their hobby or for, well, for any number of things. You'd be able to put your golf cart over here, uh, obviously have a workbench, or whatever you like. Your water heater is elevated. You have a, out here, you have a side door, uh, and you have a wash bin, a very practical thing to have so you don't have to bring all those messy jobs into the house. You can just wash them up out here. Well, let's finish up and get reoriented here. I'll give you my contact information and invite you to call me or email me. Here we are just off of the living room for those of you who wondered where we went. Well, we went around the fireplace there to the master bedroom to the left and we came out over here on the other side of the laundry room that connects to the master bedroom and master closet, master bathroom, uh, uh, master bathroom. <laughs> Laundry goes into the closet, which goes into the master bathroom. There, I knew I could say it. Well, here we are back in our main living area. This is a beautiful house, $499,990. It's ready to go. It, by the way, the model is called the Sawgrass. Sawgrass, one of the more popular models. You can buy this one, or if you like this one and you'd like to build it somewhere else, let's talk, we can do it. We can do it, and uh, as a buyer's agent, I can help you in any way to compare uh, this home to others that might work for you, and to tell you more about the neighborhood. I don't think I did that. I'll tell you some about it right now. Hampton Hall has uh, uh, outstanding amenities here. It's very popular, very popular for upscale buyers. Uh, it has an outstanding uh, recreational center there with uh, Indoor swimming, outdoor swimming, hard true and hard tennis courts, beautiful big clubhouse. Uh, it has optional private golf. One of the interesting things about uh, Hampton Hall is that if you're a golfer, you have the option of joining the uh, Tom Fazio uh, Golf Club, Hampton Hall Golf Club that has the private Tom Fazio course. Very well respected and liked course. If you don't play golf, if you don't want to make that expenditure, you don't have to. <coughs> Completely optional. Now, at the same time, uh, it's not inexpensive. You do have an annual HOA here of $3,606 a year. Compared to other golf course communities, uh, that's really low. Compared to some of the other communities, okay, it is a bit higher, but you know what? Uh, you get a lot for that. And again, this is for the discriminating luxury buyer that we're talking about here that I think you are because you're watching this video. And again, that's with the optional golf. Um, please call me with any questions, comments, and let's work together to find the right home and community for you. It may be this home and this would be an excellent choice in my opinion. I like it very much has a lot to offer. It has a lot what people are looking for today. But if you want to, before many of you come to the decision on which house to buy, oftentimes you want to shop and compare. And that's what I'm here for as your buyer's agent, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm only paid at closing if you buy and if you close.
and the fee that I earn as your buyer's agent is already in the price of every listed home, including this one. So it really doesn't cost you anything more to have a buyer's agent. And one more thing about agency is that you pay the same commission for a completely inexperienced agent as you do for someone like myself with 39 years of experience here in the area. Here's your propane tank. It's buried. And we would want to find out, of course, if you're leasing that or if that's included, if you own it outright. It looks like you may have some gas in this house. That uh, looks to me like a gas meter, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't think that's your water. That must be water meter. That's a water cutoff there. Yeah. I, I was going to say, this is not a gas community. That's your whole house water cutoff. Pretty sure service area here for your trash and for your heat pumps let's just take a quick look in there okay it's one heat pump then one zone there may be multiple zones through some sensors and so forth but you clearly have the one heat pump All right then, so my cell number, 843-684-2933. That's 843-684-2933. And my email address, rich at gogated.com. That's R-I-C-H at G-O-G-A-T-E-D.com. And my website is gogated.com. Now you can search all the properties of any kind in the Hilton Head area at gogated.com. And I certainly invite you to do that. However, I would also invite you to call or email. Let's talk and about your real estate needs. Let's get acquainted. Find out what you're looking for. And let me help you find it. And I generally do that with a buyer by sending them a list of all the homes in the area that can meet your needs terms of price, features, location, and so forth. And it's a list that will update automatically for you. So it'll save you a lot of time. You don't have to go shopping and searching again and again. Any new listings and updates, price changes, and so forth will come to you automatically in your email box. It's really the way to monitor your personal real estate market, in my opinion. And my clients do like it very much. There is no cost or obligation for the service. I'm happy to provide it to you. It helps us both a lot, keeps you informed, and that way when you come down to meet with me and tour around and, and compare and, and, and get to know the area and get to know me, well, you, you know everything that's for sale. And it's just a question of uh, deciding what you want to see. Well, so thank you. Thank you for watching this video today. I've really enjoyed seeing this house. Uh, it's really, it's the bullseye, I think, for many of you in terms of price, location, features, size. Again, just 2,400 square feet, but it really is a beautifully built house. Great floor plan. I don't see it lasting a real long time, ladies and gentlemen, but on the market. But what I mean is that uh, David Weekly Homes, the builder of this home, is ready to build one for you somewhere else. And maybe they have another model that uh, you might like just as well or better. I don't know. Uh, maybe something larger, not sure. But let's talk about that. And also, uh, one thing to know too is that they expect you to have a buyer's agent on your side. So it actually doesn't cost you anything more to work with me, with them, as your buyer's agent. The commission is the same. The price is the same. They don't reduce the commission or the price because you, you're working on your own as an uh, without an agent. So it really makes it a no-brainer to have someone working with you, for you, representing your best interests. Let's do that together, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the video. I sure have enjoyed uh, showing you this house. Again, it's October 4th, 2014, and we're in Hampton Hall at uh, 23 Wicklow Drive. Thank you again. I look forward to hearing from you. 843-684-2933, rich at gogated.com.